Hey, how's it going everybody? Jim Hutchison here. I'm at the world famous Sayers Club in Las Vegas. I'm here with the creator curator Jason Scopa and the production manager Michael Otano of the Sayers Club. Guys, I'm so glad to have you on. Thank you. Tell me a little bit about how you wanted to take what happens at the Sayers Club Hollywood. Tell me if there was anything you wanted to bring from that to the Vegas audience. Yeah, I think the most important thing with the Sayers Club is that it's a context. It's a unique context for people to experience nightlife. Uh, it's not just a live music venue. It's a lounge, it's a live music venue, and it's a nightclub. Traditional live music venues, you go and you pay your ticket, you go and see an hour-long show, and you leave. Uh, we want to keep the guest here and show them a different way to experience an entire evening. It's supposed to be it just so happens that you saw that band play that intimate room, that great sounding room, that, that unique presentation. And that's kind of what we get off on. It's not just, there's a lot of amazing musicians. We know they play really well. It's about the presentation and how the guest responds to it. When you see that look on those guests' faces that, wow, I can't believe I just saw that. Tell me a little bit about the feel in here. Tell me about how you wanted that to come across. You know, you're always limited by something when you're building out a venue. The size of it, the budget that you have, the natural acoustics, and you know, you have to work through all these things. The design pretty much stays the same. It's kind of an industrial, it's, it's my perfect living room. You know, is what I is what I tried to go for. It was like, man, I wish I, you know, how do I create my own living room and, and then get the best shows and whatever. And with regards to lighting, it's like, you know, Micah sends me this this demo video for the E-Pigs, and we were just like, oh my God. You know, and I don't speak in technical terms. I'm just like, I need that. I need that. How are we gonna do that? Because it, it'll work perfect. It's the perfect product, because it got it's your creative product. juices flowing. Yeah, and it still is, and we have other people around the property that are like, hey, uh, you know, what, what are those? You know, it's like, I don't know, man. You got some pretty heavy stuff in there, but you know, everybody loves this. You know, we've done quite a few print shows, which was very surreal. And we've had, we've had the Black Keys, we've had Stevie Wonder a few times, we've had uh, Gautier. It's a lot, I could get you the list if you want, but uh, it's, it's pretty cool. I get a call from Costas Carolumbus, who uh, is uh, the director of all of Nightlife here, and he's like, hey man, uh, we were just with Lenny Kravitz. You know, he designed a suite here at the SLS Hotel. And uh, he walked into Sayers and he says he wants to play it tomorrow. He literally walked in, he saw the room, he saw the backdrop, and he's like, you guys really hit the mark with this place, I want to play it tomorrow. And that was a huge compliment and testament to both what I do and what Micah does. And I have a feeling that if we did not have that backdrop, I don't know if, if Lenny would have walked in and said he wanted to play the menu. And I, I still believe that to be true, actually. Can you tell me about the setup of the bars and the strips, how that all came to play? <laughs> you know, after watching some of the demos, I was like, well, you know, we could also do it. What if we did this? Concave, or maybe we stagger them in the middle. What if some of them in, in the middle of the tall ones are back a little bit further and then they get smaller as they get what towards the middle because then we could do a circular, a circular uh, effect. You know, like it was just, it was endless what you could do. It's still endless what yeah. you could do. And we could run video, we could run images across this thing. We, with Madrix, we were, we were, we felt almost limitless. So it was an open palette and it became something that the product really shined, I think, through in the end and it came through for us. Tell me about what you've got going on from the front. Tell me about how you're using the moving heads and spots you have out front. We wanted the right product to where we could actually still amplify the moments and move some air with the lights and, and make people feel like they are at a party, but not sacrifice the context of still feeling like a living room. And this is a pretty good answer, I thought, to the situation. Again, Micah said, what about this? I was like, as long as it does what it did in the video. <laughs> as long as it does that. 